Okay, we ended up at the lake. Doing a little bit of power washing. Woo! So, we came out to get the boat ready for summer and fixed a broken bellow on the boat. Or ballo, bello. I don't know. I don't do that kind of stuff. But Justin's fixing it, and uh, maybe we have something in the back of Mama's. Maybe we have something for uh, the boys in Mama's car. Yeah, come on, let's go. Ah. Oh, I don't care. Careful. Hold on. Wait for Mama. Come on, okay, guys. <laughs> What's back here, guys? What is this? Which one's mine? Let me see. What is it? What is that? I don't know. Tell me. What else is back there? Is it, do I choose which one I want? Oh, cool. I'm going to give this to Gunner. Can I choose, a, can I choose which one I want? We've got all kinds of crazy stuff in here. Can what? I choose? We got. Can I choose that? We got a I shark. I got one. I got one. Let's see. Let's see the boat. Who gets the shark? Nice. Gunner. I want the shark. What is this? Is this shark? This remote control. I want the shark. No, Cash, you get the boat. We're going to share everything, guys. Share it. A bubble gun. I gotta bubble gun. Oh, we need yeah. batteries. All right, let's go get some batteries. If you guys ever watch the movie Snatch, the boys get, the boys get a pair of them shoes. These are probably the most comfortable $13 uh, wow, like slipper things. Wow. Those Pavati, you like those shoes? Those shoes are gonna be you got a shark? Yeah. yeah. Those shoes are going to be my shoes. All right, grab a boat. Uh, so, yeah, we came out here to test the boat out. A beautiful day, a little bit rainy. Um, and the bellow is ripped. Okay, so be careful with that, Bubba. Be careful, Mom will open it inside. Can I go open it? Yeah. Oh, and that's, there you go. Go charge them inside, need to be charged. Uh, so we gotta get, I bought some new batteries also. They were, our batteries were good, but they were just not charged 100%, so. I'm gonna go back, replace the batteries, and uh, pull the boat out, because now I have to change the, I think it's the shift cable uh, bellow. If I put the prop up, it starts to take in water, so definitely could be the, Shift kit. If you don't know what a bellow is, you're about to find out. It is a round rubber, kind of like accordion-like thing that goes in and out as the motor goes up and down. And they're rubber, so they can dry rot, rat, or uh, rip. So stick around. Let's replace a bellow. These boys are crazy. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Look at them. Oh gosh. Um. Well, good, beautiful morning. And on today's episode, we came out to take the boat out and then found a couple of issues. One being the starter. So I took that out yesterday. We'll talk about more about putting it back in and how that is involved. And, um, also, the bellows. I didn't know much about these before, but I'm learning quickly. These, this is the Alpha 1 Gen 2 outdrive. And my uh, shift cable bellow, which puts it forward reverse. Um, it's just a little rubber thing with, with ribs in it. And it can tear down the side or completely tear in the middle or just tear it all together. Mine popped at the very last rib before the connector to the drive. So, uh, if you put the drive down, it will a good, like an accordion. And it'll come all the way off, and it'll it separated and broke a little area. So when the drive was up, or sorry, when the drive is up, it stretches it out. When the drive is down, it pushes it together. It popped it so um, with the drive up a little bit when we were pulling the boat out of the water, it started taking on water. So just a little bit of water coming in there, and I was already in the engine bay. So I was like, "What's this water coming from?" But yeah, myself is a big person getting between there and there my whole body in there to get to that starter oh my goodness so that's what we're doing today on 3bb and we're waiting for those 3bbs to wake up but i'll probably just take off i have to go buy the starter and then um also the bilge pump we'll re rewire that i did i bought an automatic pump uh, the other one was automatic also but the automatic feature wasn't working anymore and it was popping the fuse so let's go buy some parts and I called everywhere and we had nobody that had uh, starters available like marine stores right there in Seneca and if you know about one please say it in the comments 
but I could not find any. So I called a place called Docks and More, and they said go to this guy, which is Chem Alternators and Starters, nine five one Franklin, which is this one. Let's go see. And they said, hey, if you can bring in what you got, we can match it up. But starters for boats have a little bit different brushes inside, so they don't spark as much um, because you don't want to start a fire in there, you know? Let's go check them out. You ready? Can you open that door for me? There you go. There, you go. there we go. Looks like the right place. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? Pretty good. Right. It's pretty new, but uh, click, click, click. Brand new batteries. Okay. So no, uh, last season it gave us a couple problems, and now it's not nothing. But it's on a boat. Okay, got a brand new one in stock. There we go. S S. Yeah, SS and Paula. Good job. You gonna hold like that? We're supposed to be in the back seat, so <laughs> let's go. Before we work, though, we have to eat, right? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Well, let's do this. enough. <laughs> you get a breakfast burrito? Yeah, all right. Let's go get mom's Starbucks, but I got the McCafe with iced coffee. Why not? Let's go put a starter in. Okay, you oh, thank you. You said your name was Kai? Kai? No, was your name Kai? Yeah. That's cool. I, I, go, his real name's Kylan, but we call him Kai. Cool. Yeah, awesome. nice meeting you. Thank you so much. Thank Have you. a good day. That's pretty cool. Do you see any chicken nuggets? No. Yeah. Don't. I see chicken. You see chickens? I can smell them. Smell them? Yeah, they don't smell the best. I was teaching them about uh, chicken coops and all the ones we see along the way. And now we see a tractor full of chickens. All it's right. a truck full of chickens. Tractor trailer, truck full of chickens. You got it? Yep. Okay, come on. <laughs> $177 with tax and a 4% charge for using a credit card or debit card. So bring cash if you ever go to... Uh, what is it, Clem's alternator yeah. and starter repair? Yeah. yeah. And give us new bolts because the ones we had in there, it's my biggest thing is uh, the bolts falling down because there's gravity. Um, so these bolts have this little perforation. I'll show you. Thank you for, yes, you can drive your four wheeler. Why? I said yes, <laughs> no wise. Um, yeah, let's check out those bolts. You're done with it? Yeah. Thank you very much. I'll put it right here, for, save it for later. How's that? I really like it. No, you really like it? Okay. This is not, no, no. Let's not put, okay. Let's not put frosting on the boat. All right. So here we go. So yeah, it sits in there like this. Really hard to get to this eight millimeter right here. It's on the inside. And then this one's not too bad, a 14 millimeter. The bolts are 14 millimeter also. But you see this right here? Kind of lets the, it holds the bolt in there so they don't fall back out. So he's like, do you need these or I'll just keep them? I said, no, I definitely need those. The ones I have don't have that. So, yes, that'll help keep the bolt in there so I can just start to thread it and it won't fall out. Cool, let's get it uh, in there. This should be fun. Oh, yeah, we had bigger aspirations. That's why we're not helping. Whoa, where's your shoes? It's inside. Okay, have fun. See you later. <laughs> to be a kid again. And she's in literally zero room to show you guys any filming because my torso barely fits between that and that. <laughs> and, my, and that was right against my shoulder, my fuel line, uh, and my water line. So we have a battery isolator on this boat. One line going to the alternator and the other line going over to another battery over there. But what I had to do, so those bolts indeed did not stay in the starter. They were just kind of... I don't know what that purpose was. Let me know in the comments. Um, so I reused the other bolts I had because they had a longer uh, nut on them so you could get to them easier. That's probably why they used them. You're going to have two uh, positive lines going to the starter, two red wires, uh, one big one right there, and then one little tiny one from the other side going on the right side of the solenoid. This is a 305 Merc Cruiser. I don't know. It's a 2002 boat. So. Uh, but one of the bolts is set back a little bit. The one, so I put in the first one that's for, that you can see. The other one you really, really can't see, but you have to be way down in there. And this is a lifesaver for me, was this guy, first of all, to stop from, stop from being there the whole time. And then this little guy with a swivel head. So I can get in there and grab it. And it's a 14. 
So, yeah, those are the two top guys. And eight millimeter um, for that little connection on the side of the solenoid. All right, and then a 14 on the other side. So we have the upgraded uh, alternator. I'm gonna put the power cables back on now. Um, I have to redo my bilge also, which you can see down there. I took that one out. And yeah, and also use a uh, pool toy. Oh, what I was gonna tell you, I used the box for my new bilge pump and I set it in there like this. And, and so it was perfect height. I don't know what size that is. I'd say that is, I don't know, 10 inches. I don't know how tall that is, but find a box about that size compared to a screwdriver. Um, and I set that in there and then set the, the starter on top of it and, it. and it let me hold the starter where it needed to be before I threaded that bolt in. Huge tip right there, because otherwise there's no way you're getting two hands on that. Lisa's a big person. Maybe smaller, you can get in there further. I couldn't get in there further enough. So she's in. <sighs> All right, new starter. Now new builds. And we should be rocking and rolling. I uh, did Bellow. They didn't have it in stock. So I will have to wait for another video to put that in. Um, that I'm getting it ordered. So the right one from Quicksilver. I'm not going to spare the expense. It's only like $27. But still, you don't want to uh, spare any expense on a rubber piece. It might go bad again. So let's hook up these positive wires again. And then get our builds done. Okay, guys. Initial checks are a go for 3BB. I'm not proud of this. But I might have used like three zip ties. <laughs> and zip tied that bellow because it's not in stock yet and we might be on the water. So we did our first check. And that 5.0 is part. Woo! So we'll get some sun today and uh, enjoy our spoils of uh, working hard to get it done. 72 degrees, a little breezy. It should be good turn all the way that way. Give a little bit of throttle. Yeah. Up now, turn straight. They got up now. Turn all the way to right. A little bit of uh, backwards. Neutral. Right in the middle. Hey! I got you. Thank you, baby. Oh my goodness. All right, guys. This is one of our favorite coves. This place was a disaster. We've got two full trash bags. Um, there's a bunch of places where they can jump off the rocks over there. Kaysen, not on the rocks, please. It'll break it. Um, so we come up here and try to clean it up. We're thinking about putting a couple trash cans up there. Yeah. Because it's the Clemson kids. I mean, you can see it's floating right there. I'll go out and get that one. But, like, it's everywhere. Glass and trash. So I know it's the youth of America, but for the three BBs, they will not be raised that way. They'll be taking it to a trash can. All right, let's enjoy the rest of the day. A little bit windy, a little bit choppy, but hey, 3BB boys and 3BB mom, late days have commenced. Kai Kai's napping. <laughs> oh yeah, the third BBB is, uh, yeah, passed out in there. All right, guys, can't complain. Might have skipped the day of school, but hey, we got the boat fixed. There you go. Actually, a turtle. Yes. 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 Spin around the block. What do you think, Kai? Good. Yeah? I'm gonna go What? A little IROC action? Who knows? Know Cash is like, look, there's T tops. Good job. Wrap, guys. I will do the bellow on another video, but if you're changing your uh, starter, definitely use a box to get in there and uh, get a starter that doesn't have. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Doesn't have. Um, an open casing because you get sparks flying out of those brushes and you don't want that with the fumes back there kaboom so god bless you guys i know it wasn't really a lot of 3bb but 
had a great weekend. I sure hope you did too. And until then, we will see you on the next one. On the next one.